Hello and welcome to another edition of my, uh, episode rather, of my Vectrex repair series. And today I wanted to address a problem that could happen to you where the vectors will never ever match up, no matter what you do. And they wiggle, kind of funny, as they go toward the center of the CRT. And here comes the ship, and as you can see, no matter what you do to adjust it, it'll never be right. Yeah, let's see if it'll come up again. Yep. See the wiggles? It's just wiggling all over the place. Um, there is a problem when you have this, it's going to be actually IC303 more than likely is the culprit. That's most likely and this actually is right here it's a socketed chip so it's easy to replace and it actually takes the um, um i think it's the voltage um and turns into a current from the digital to analog converter and <clears throat> that's all in your analog section which is in this section right here so <clears throat> if you have a problem with it you're going to have with your chip you're going to have that problem more likely um, also another peculiar thing that I found so I tried several different brands and the first one I ordered on eBay was this one right here and of course it's an <clears throat> LF um, as you can see it LF 347N now this is a Texas Instruments chip and ironically, it produced the same problem as the bad chip. And the bad chip was an original National Semiconductor, and I know those work. Because I have another Vectrex beside me that uses it, and I swapped that one out, and it worked. So, I actually went ahead and cross-referenced it to NTE to a um, 859. Now, all of these are quad op amps. They are separate into four little amps in here that's all they do and um, it should be fairly straightforward so i could not for the life of me understand so if you fix one of these do not order the texas instruments um quad amplifier for these things this this particular chip will not work and they're rampant on ebay you'll find them at a good price and maybe that's why so avoid tilf 347 ends at all cost um so we put this chip in here, the NTE version. And it goes in one way, uh, where the dimple goes, this pin one goes toward the front of the Vectrex. Uh, we line this one up. Now your socket's not gonna look like this, because I put a gold socket, professional socket in this thing, so it'd be nice and tight. I didn't like the way that the old one's aged. So we'll turn it back on. And let it go through startup. Yeah, we're looking good so far. I've already tried this, so I know it's going to work. And our chip should be coming here in just a sec. This also has a no buzz modification in it. And your ships are perfect. So I hope this helps out. Um, I guarantee you there's someone out there that has this issue. Any questions, let me know. I'll hang out in the... Um, Facebook page, the group, you know, um, Vetrix Fans Unite, or you can catch me leaving a comment here, and I'd be happy to help you out if I can. So, thanks a lot.